Alright you guys, so uh, originally there was not going to be a video tonight, but this is something that absolutely has to be addressed immediately. Now, as we all know guys, tomorrow, I mean Saturday, is going to be a historic occasion because finally, Foreigner is going into the rightful place, into the rock, rock and roll hall of fame. However, courtesy of original drummer's drummer Den Dennis Elliott's Facebook account, and yes, guys, this is Dennis's actual account. It seems as though the the schedule given to a uh, Dennis and uh, the leader and founder of Warner, um, Mick Jones was unsatisfactory. So, guys, Den Dennis and Mick will sadly not be at Saturday night's induction. However, original members, um, original, original singer Lou Graham, original key keyboardist, Al Greenwood, um, original multi, 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 multi instrumentalist uh, Rick Rick Wills, and um, and I think somebody else will be there. Uh, uh, on behalf of um. And McDonald and the original bass player Ed, Ed Giggly Artie, who are suddenly no longer with us. And guys, the only real problem I have with that is we are being denied the opportunity to see the two original leaders of Bronner. Obviously, I mean M Mick and Lou together at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame ceremony. Now, Dennis's explanation for this is that supposedly Dennis and Nick find this schedule unsatisfactory, so that's why they decided to uh, sit out the ceremony. However, um, I can't remember where I originally heard this, guys, but I heard from somewhere that Mick promised everybody that despite his unfortunate diagnosis of Parkinson's, we just kept him from performing with the band for um, about, about almost um, two years now. Despite that, that he promised everybody that he would attend the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame ceremony together. I'm going to be honest. Um, if Dennis wants to stay home, that's fine, but I am not going to say I am mad at Mick. I am mad at, at whoever dissatisfied him because, guys, I can't remember where I heard it, but Mick promised everyone that he was going to do whatever, whatever he needed to, to to actually be able to attend and perform at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame ceremony so that Mick and Lou could finally make peace and perform as the, as the, with as much of the original foreign form lineup that there is left. And while we will hopefully still get a performance from Lou, Al, and Rick partially for that performance I'm going to be dissatisfied because the leader and founder of Warner deserves to be at his own induction so the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame should once again be ashamed of themselves for, for dissatisfying the leader and founder of Warner Mr. McJones because, guys, I'm not kidding. Mick promised everybody that he was 
going to do whatever it took to to make absolutely sure he was able to attend the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame ceremony. And now at the last second, they have to dissatisfy the leader and founder of one of the most iconic rock groups of all time. So he has to miss his own induction. And this is something that, again, I do not blame Nick for. If Dennis wanted to stay on, that's fine. But I do blame the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for dissatisfying Nick. Um, have a good one.